guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another haul for you. Uh, I went into town last week, I think it was, and I got a few little things. Uh, I didn't get too much, um, but I thought I'd share them anyway as I quite enjoy doing hauls and I think that hauls are my most viewed type of video, so I thought I would just do another haul. As I bought this stuff nearly a week ago, I have worn three out of the four uh, clothing items, five clothing items even, and uh, one of the accessories is out of this packet, so yeah. Okay, so I've just got a few handful of things and I'm just gonna start with some accessories. First I got this little bun band which has like flowers on it. I believe it was £1.50 and it was from Primark and I just put it on my bun. I haven't got a bun on so I can't really show you. But um, yeah, it looks quite nice, just on a plain top knot bun kind of thing. The uh, second thing I got was also to go on buns. These little, little like hairband things with little flowy bits on. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe them, but there's one floral one. Really out of breath for some reason, I think I'm excitable. and then one with heart print on, and they were £1.50 for the both. There was a um, new discount beauty kind of shop uh, in the shopping centre where I went, and I got from W7, which wore paint cosmetics, and it looks like the Sally Hansen uh, airbrush legs. This is called in a can and I've got another knockoff like this which I used to buy from the 99p store which is the outdoor girl summer legs candy can um, this is in no way comparable to Sally Hansen airbrush legs because it just gives you color it doesn't really give you coverage but it's better than nothing because when I first bought the Sally Hansen I got it for like three quid and it's like a tenner now so I don't really want to pay a tenner for it um, so yeah, I saw this in the shop, can't remember how much it was, it was really cheap though, like one ninety nine, two ninety nine. 99 um, So yeah, I'm really excited to give this a go and see how it compares to the Sally Hansen because I do feel it's in important to have a good coverage on your legs if you're someone who has uh, blemishes on your legs and because not everyone has like perfect clear skin but it's nice not to have to wear tights in the summer. I remember when I was younger, I always used to have to wear tights because I just hated my legs. Um, but hopefully this will be good and I'm really excited to try it. Next from the same brand, uh, W7 War Paint Cosmetics, I got this camouflage kit, which is just a little kit of concealers. I have used it. I don't know why people do this, I don't understand. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, you probably can't really see, I have used some they're okay. I'm still yet to find a good concealer to cover my dark circles. If you have any recommendations of a really good one that really will um, cancel out the dark circles, I'd really love to hear. I don't care how much it costs because I'm just so over my dark circles. I'm currently using the Soap and Glory Trick and Treatment, which isn't bad, but it doesn't cover them completely, and I really want something to completely cover them, or even a product that reduces them would be nice as well but if anyone got any recommendations I'd love to hear them. And next I went to TK Maxx and I got this big old bottle of Saint Tropez mousse. It doesn't really look that big but um it is a bronzing mousse and it was $7.99 which I thought was quite good for Saint Tropez because it's normally really expensive and I'm excited to try this. I've been using this since St. Moritz or Moritz, however you say it, and it is okay. Don't really have much good to say about it, it's kind of just average. Um, still, nothing compares for me uh, for a tan to the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs because that was just last summer I lived with that, I always had used that, and nothing has come close to me, even though it's not really a tan, but yeah, so I'm excited to try this because I know Central Pay is good. Hopefully I don't really, really like it and then have to go and buy like the full price ones but yeah, I'm excited to try that. I've probably said excited about five times. Next thing I got from TK Maxx was uh, a top which is very bright. I wore this the other day to work. It's 
best, like a sheer one. Very floral, very orange. It's got an extra bit of fabric at the front so it's not too see-through and at the back it doesn't have that. And it's got a kind of v-neck kind of swoop here. It's very low on the old uh, cleavage. I had to wear a little top under it because I was at work and didn't really want to have my boobies out. Uh, it's by a brand called Sans Sansuki, Sansushi. I don't know, I'm sorry, it's S, S A N S Sans and then S O U C I if anyone's interested, you're probably not. But this was, I believe, $5.99, which I thought was okay. Next, I went into Asda and I absolutely love Asda's clothes. I think they're such a good price and I don't really have an Asda 2 near me, so when I was in this one, I had to look around the whole shop because I love that stuff. But I only got one thing. I was uh, restrained. I restrained myself. Yeah, yeah. And I got this little vest top thing. And this is actually maternity, but it was three pounds. So I just thought I don't really care that it's maternity because I like it. I just love that it. it's got the pop of colour, pop of colour, up on here and around here. And yeah. I really like that and three quid, you can't go wrong really. In Primark I got a little pair of shorts, these were four pounds, haven't worn these yet. But um, yeah they're really just those super comfy, almost pyjama like shorts, um, which you can basically just wear with anything. I didn't actually get this on the same day as the other stuff, I got this um, at my local market in my high street and it's just a kimono which I wore yesterday so it's inside out I don't just take myself in the face yeah so it's just this really long and bright kimono I wanted I wanted a kimono for like since like spring summer began but I felt I was being really stingy because I don't want to spend like 15 20 25 30 pound on what is effectively the world's thinnest bit of material which is already starting to snag. Um, so I saw this on the market for a tenner. I thought I'd just get it. Because um, I've wanted one for ages. Um, maybe I'll buy one when it comes to autumn and they're all in the sale and then I can just save it for next year. I don't really care if it's not on trend, I just wear what I like. So yep, and I have one last thing to show you guys which is probably my favourite. And it's from Zara. Okay, so this is the dress. It's really long. It's like stupid long. It looks like this at the front and the back there. It's quite low. And then it goes buttons down to the there. And it's really super long. I think I'm gonna do a pan down and hang on the wall or something. But um Basically, in my last ASOS magazine, I saw a dress really similar to this and I fell in love with it. And I've been trying to hunt one down for ages because it wasn't available on ASOS yet. And when I saw that in Zara, I just jumped on it and had to have it because I was just obsessed with it and I'm going to pair it over like denim shorts or black ripped skinny jeans, which is how they did it in the ASOS magazine. And yeah, I'm really excited to wear it. And it was $29.99, which... If it wasn't for the fact that I had wanted it for ages, I probably wouldn't have paid that for it. Um, but it was just for the sheer fact that I really wanted one like this, and it was there, and I had to have it. So yeah, and it is some really long row, so I'm kind of worried, because I would wear it with like ankle boots. I'm kind of worried that it's going to drape on the floor and get ruined, but there you go. We'll see how it goes. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and if you want me to do more hauls because it's a good excuse for me to do some shopping. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've done a haul recently which you'd like me to check out. I'd be really happy to do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!